My name is Harley Huggins and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. I'm Devika Vipul and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. My name is David Thomas and I'm an Ole Miss engineer. I chose Ole Miss based off of the suggestion of a teacher in high school. My calculus teacher said, hey, you like math, you like science, why don't you try to be an engineer? So whenever I started visiting colleges and going through the recruitment process, I kept that in mind and as a result of that I ended up visiting the Center for Manufacturing Excellence and taking a tour with our advisor, Ryan Miller. And the Center for Manufacturing Excellence really sold me on Ole Miss Engineering. Once I saw the facility, it stole my heart and I knew that I wanted to come here. So I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. You would not really expect a Brooklyn kid uh, who's, who's grown up in the city to come to Oxford, Mississippi. But when I visited it, because I have family down here, I really found some awesome things that made me really want to come down here. And so vi viewing the engineering department as well as the Center for Manufacturing Excellence, I saw a lot of really great qualities that have really served me well in my time here. Being a girl and in an STEM field was one of my dreams because uh, it's not being promoted a lot in a lot of different countries all around the world. So I always wanted to be a role model for all the girls who really want to pursue STEM as a major and just wanted to prove them that countries, borders and boundaries doesn't decide what your major is. And apart from that, uh, I've always been interested in STEM and in mathematics and physics generally. So that's why I chose mechanical engineering as my major. I would say that my favorite class so far has been taking project management with the Center for Manufacturing Excellence. And that's been really great because I'm interested in not only the engineering side, but also the management of those engineering projects and other business aspects. And so actually looking at how scope and time management and cost all work is really important. So far, my favorite class has been Calculus 2, solely because of the reason of my Calculus 2 teacher. I loved my Calculus 2 teacher. He's amazing. All of my teachers are amazing, to be honest. My favorite class so far has probably been Fluids with Dr. Herlin. Really enjoyed how you can apply that to the real world a lot. I like seeing things that I can actually use instead of just conceptual mathematics and concepts that may not apply to the real world. So this past summer, I worked for Pratt & Whitney Jet Engine Manufacturing in Hartford, Connecticut. I was a repair source approval intern there, and what we did was make sure that the, the repairs on the actual engines were done with quality, and so we looked at the engine parts and cut those up, and it was really interesting to learn about all of those aspects of how that technology works. So during my internship, I learned a lot of technical things in terms of how a jet engine works and the technology and the materials that go into it, but I also learned a lot of people skills and aspects in a working environment. I found that be, having an Ole Miss education, being an Ole Miss engineer, gave me a leg up compared to a lot of other interns because this is such a social environment that really prepares you well for that. I will be doing a co-op at Cooper Tires uh, this winter in the Clarksdale plant and I'll be working with the reliability team. Actually, I'm excited to dive deep in real engineering by doing that co-op, I've been excited about it. I've been through five internship co-op rotations. The first one was in fall 2014 with Toyota in Erlanger, Kentucky. The second one was in summer 2015 with Toyota again in Princeton, Indiana at their plant there in the Body Weld Group. The third one was with Borg Warner Turbo Systems in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, I was a member of their manufacturing engineering group. The fourth one was with Thomas and Beds. Now they're called the ABB Group. Um, I worked mainly out of their Memphis, Tennessee area, but they sent me to Hackettstown, New Jersey and Vega Baja, Puerto Rico to implement a project. And finally, this past summer, I worked for ABB again at their Cenotopia plant on breakers as a manufacturing engineer. I learned how to be a professional engineer. I also learned a lot of things that I like and dislike about engineering, and it helped me kind of figure out what I wanted to do whenever I graduate in May. I've been involved in a few different engineering organizations during my time here at Ole Miss. Some of the best have been the Ole Miss Rocket Rebels, where we, we built an eight-foot rocket and launched it a mile into the air. And so that was last year, and we competed, uh, we entered in a NASA student launch competition. 
I was also involved in Engineers Without Borders, where I've been the president for the past year. And so that's been really great. We've, so far in our history, we've built a schoolhouse for a village over in Togo, Africa, and also drilled a, a deep water well for them. After my graduation, I, I would love to work with a company that would allow me to travel different places because traveling has also been one of my passions. That's why I'm here, traveled half the way around the world for all this engineering. But, uh, so I would love to work as an engineer. So after I graduate this May, I'm looking at a few different opportunities in engineering and speaking with a few companies. But I'm also looking at some business and sales jobs because not only do you get a technical side of the education here at Ole Miss in the engineering department, but you also get a really good foundation in terms of people skills, which can serve you well when it comes time to working in a real corporate environment. After I graduate in May, I plan to return to ABB at their Cenotopia plant in the manufacturing engineering group. I would say that definitely take in all of your options, but really look hard at Ole Miss because there are a lot of really key things that work here for the Ole Miss students. And I did not really see myself when I was in high school saying, oh, why would I go to Mississippi from New York? But when I came here, I realized that there are a lot of incredible opportunities that really turn out professionals as they go into the job market. My advice to students looking into the engineering school at the University of Mississippi is that even though it's a small program, sometimes that's better because you have smaller courses, you have the ability to really connect with your professors and the peers around you. And I've really enjoyed that small school experience at the University of Mississippi, especially being in the Center for Manufacturing program. Only 200 students are in the program, so I know at least the face of almost all 200 students. And it has been really nice to develop those connections while in school. Ole Miss Engineering is a wonderful program because it teaches you both the things that are in books and uh, the things that are outside. It will help you to develop as a person. I found myself at Ole Miss. <laughs>